Peru had two origins of surfing. It was the origin of surfing that took place approximately 5,000 years ago with the Caballito de Totora, and then there was the modern day surfing that started in approximately 1942 or 1943. Historians and archeologists are finding that they can date back further and further a small one-man boat or kayak which the Spaniards nicknamed the Caballito de Totora. Uh, they named it, oh by the way, caballo, caballo means horse, so Caballito means small horse or pony. The reason they named this surfboard-like vessel the Caballito is that the Spaniards who arrived in Peru in the 15 or 1600s, the conquistadors, were themselves riding horses. So when they came down to the coast and they saw natives riding in with the waves on something, they called them little reed horses. And uh, it turns out that uh, the inhabitants of the coast, the northern coast of Peru, are still using this little reed ponies, we call them these days, that were designed 5,000 years ago, and they've been in uninterrupted use for those 5,000 years in northern Peru. The, the locals use them to fish and to ride waves. And if you think about it, if you live on a coastline that has consistent surf, and the only way you can get out beyond the break is to push through the waves, and the only way you can get back to shore is to either ride the waves or somehow go through the break. If you live there and you wanted to go fishing, you would first of all have to design something that would allow you to go through the break and come back on the waves, and secondly, you would have to learn how to use it because you would not want to go fishing and then lose your catch because you were unable to control the reed pony as you rode in on the waves. Therefore, it was necessary for them to design it, learn how to ride waves and learn how to control it before they could successfully go out and fish. Now, after they managed all of that, and they realized that it was very useful and very successful at navigating through and back on the waves, then those same fishermen realized that they should teach their children how to deal with the waves and how to control the little reed pony and how to ride the waves so that when they grew up, they would be able to successfully navigate through the waves and go fishing and successfully come back to shore with their catch. Just to recap, this was a vessel that was shaped like a kayak, perhaps even a stand-up surfboard that we know in today's time, with a pointed nose that had a, uh, a curve to the top, much like we would see you know, a board with its rocker. It had rocker, it had no scoop. It was approximately the same width of a surfboard because it was wide enough for one person. And, uh, and it was designed to the best of their knowledge and with the materials that they had four or 5,000 years ago to ride waves. And it was such a successful design and it worked so well that they still use it to this day. To this very day. 5,000 years later. In fact, you showed me some video that's online. You can, you mm -hmm. can look it up online where there's actually people surfing, standing up, mm -hmm. controlling this caballito, uh, with a, a paddle and riding waves, just like we're seeing today's stand-up surfer do it uh, Absolutely. In As a matter of fact, there are some very thick books that are called The Maritime History of Peru. And I have done some research into those books. And in them, they state that they built these reed ponies in different sizes. And they would choose 
the right one according to the size and the conditions of the surf. If the surf was small, they would use the bigger caballito with a half bamboo stick to serve as a paddle. And you're right, then they would use it like a stand-up. You know, they would paddle it with a paddle. But when the surf was larger, they would use the smaller size reed pony and they would then paddle with their arms. And in this book, which was compiled from, uh, from historians, you know, that wrote this information down hundreds of years ago, they say that when they used the small reed ponies, they would duck under the waves like wild ducks in order to get out through the surf. And it's interesting that in, in modern surfing, duck diving didn't come into being until maybe 20 years ago. You know, in the 60s and in the 50s, nobody tried duck diving because you couldn't duck dive the big 10-foot boards. Mm. And yet, four or 5,000 years ago, these guys had figured out that, you know, you can have different sized equipment to use on different size and different conditions of surf and they were duck diving thousands of years ago. And there's actually archaeological evidence that has been carbon dated and even though these boards are made out of reeds which is you know going to decay quite rapidly there are petroglyphs and other evidence that the natives back in the pre-Inca days Correct. were using this out of necessity because of the environment that they had to survive in. Right, they lived in a desert uh, the Peruvian desert is one of the driest deserts in the world. Sometimes they can go for eight of ten or ten years without having any rain. So they lived on a desert, and yet they had in front of them one of the wealthiest oceans in the world insofar as fish is concerned. So their whole life, their religion, their livelihood, their recreation, their art, Everything revolved around the ocean and the waves.